Hi, welcome to DX Engineering's Q&A Wednesday. I'm Rod, Kilo 8, Romeo, Romeo. And today, I'm going to be talking about the new Yesu FTDX 101 MP. Uh, this is the 200 watt model uh, that comes with its own separate speaker and power supply combination, the FPS 101, which I'll show you some special things on it. And there are some sp specific uh, features and uh, operational uh, items on this radio that I'll show you. Uh, that, that's uh, some of the questions that we get uh, here at Q&A Wednesday. So uh, I'll get right to it. Uh, one of the first questions that we had is how long is the DC cable and can I separate the speaker? Uh, the DC cable that's supplied by Yesu is uh, two feet long. And, and so that means that you can install uh, the uh, speaker power supply combination on either side of the radio and above on a shelf, but not real high above. Um, and so we'll, have, we'll get it connected here in just a moment and show you some of the features on the front panel. On the uh, FPS 101, uh, one of the things that people are concerned about and they don't know about is what does it look like? <laughs> here it is uh, with um, the special connector. Um, this is not a connector that's been used by Yesu or any other manufacturer in, in the past uh, for the DC connection and then right next to it is the speaker connection. Um, and it has an on-off switch, uh, a fuse for the uh, AC cord, and this um, uh, fan, which uh, I've run this radio at uh, full power output for a long period of time, and this uh, power supply fan never came on. So this power supply is very rugged, very, very well built. Uh, 50 volts uh, for the 200-watt uh, finals, and 13.8 volts uh, for the uh, rest of the radio. Um, it's a very special connector and a very special uh, a grouping of uh, voltages that uh, doesn't work on other radios, only on this one. Uh, so we'll get it hooked up here in just a moment. First, I wanted to show you this, um, the way that the uh, feet are extended. Um, they only simply pull out and then turn uh, counterclockwise, yeah. <laughs> They pull out and turn counterclockwise to lock. So it's the same way on the FPS 101, and it's the same way on the radio. And we'll show you that. Pull out, turn counterclockwise, and it's that easy. So now you can have your radio and your power supply tilted up for easy viewing at your operating position. If necessary, Yesu recommends that you could uh, cut and splice 12 gauge wire up to 12 feet to move the speaker and power supply uh, that far away from the radio, but uh, most people aren't going to need to do that. The DC cord connection is with this special connector. Um, it, it goes on only one way. It can't go backwards. And then to remove it, you simply push the back end of the tab push it down to release the latch and pull out. A lot of people have trouble with that kind of thing sometimes, so I wanted to show that. So one of the other things that uh, guys are wondering about is uh, can I have something other than the special 3D display, which is what comes on when you first get the radio. And yes, you can uh, toggle between 3D um, or a regular spectrum scope with waterfall. Um, and then you can uh, do other uh, things with the second receiver turned on. Um, you can have dual display uh, as well as side-by-side um, -side display if you just hit the display button repeatedly. Dual 3D, um, dual passband, and back to single uh, main receiver. One of the best features of the FTDX 101 MP and D are this concentric VFO dial uh, and, and it uh, in the uh, main and sub selector mode operates the, the second receiver. Um, if you change over to uh, have that uh, outer knob run the, uh, the VC tune uh, pre-selector, then that's what it's uh, working on on the main here. And then uh, to put it back to operating the, the sub receiver, press the button main sub. 
and we can uh, have we have dual received uh, going on right now, which you would be able to hear if you had two antennas or one antenna feeding both uh, receivers. Um, but any time that you uh, pick the VC tune or the clarifier, um, that's what the outer ring is operating. Um, and then to put it back to the, the sub, you press the main sub button. For a full range of uh, operating uh, menus, uh, you simply push the function control and it'll bring up all the different menu selections. And, and some of them are multi-layered, but easy to read and easy to operate. Just press and read what, what the adjustment is and, and then select that and then make a change with the multi-control. You can select the, the, uh, the level of the, the DSP-based dis, uh, display uh, with this uh, multi-control, which uh, adjusts the, uh, the readout on the screen. For single sideband operation, um, not only do you have uh, a, a microphone uh, gain control that'll come up here, uh, but you also have on, on the concentric ring uh, an automatic um, microphone gain control, uh, sort of like an, an ALC or automatic limiting for your uh, speech. And um, if you turn on the processor by pushing the mic in control, then that concentric control operates the processor. It's been recommended by Yesu that uh, when you're operating in any case, uh, the microphone gain starts off at, uh, at 15 and the, uh, the automatic mic gain control starts at 55 and then take it from here, there for your uh, specific microphone. Yesu is in the testing phase for a new LAN port remote control device, which will uh, hopefully become available around Hamvention. Uh, of 2020. Um, so that will allow uh, an internet direct connection for, for remote control with the FTDX 101D and FTDX 101MP. Sitting at the top of the ARRL receiver test results and also Sherwood Engineering receiver test results, the FTDX 101MP and the FTDX 101D are now the best amateur radio transceiver in terms of uh, dynamic range for uh, receivers. Uh, if you have questions about this radio or others or any of the DX Engineering products, give us a call or send us an email at dxengineering at dxengineering.com. And as always, look us up at dxengineering.com, 73.